CrazyMikeSapps.com with an iPhone app video review for Temple Run. The follow-up to Temple Run is awesome, with more challenging terrain to navigate, zip lines, minecart game mode, and plenty of dangerous obstacles to avoid, including an oversized monkey. Getting into the action, I'm chased by the monkey, and I jump on the zip line, and that's the way Temple Run 2 starts. Nice. Very nice. The terrain is different. You're going to see a different set of obstacles like partial tile clay roofs, stones you got to swipe down to duck under. There's also flames that you'll approach. Also, cliffs that look like optical illusions. You got to go right or left. And there is a big wheel with spikes in it, which we'll approach coming up here. Grab the power ups, they will help you to stay alive longer. There's the dangerous spinning wood wheel with spikes. When the power meter turns green, double tap the screen and off you will go for however long you have. It does help and that's the way you're going to get a high score. Trip and the monkey comes back and he pressures you by getting on your back. Also, you want to turn at the cliffs. Don't go over the cliff or you croak. Another game and another zip line entrance. There's also zip lines along the way. There's a mine shaft where you'll ride a mine car. Get that power up token to get your power up which in my case is boost and it helps me to go a little bit extra distance again this game is a great follow-up i like the environment i like the fact that it's free the in-app purchases are reasonable you will find copious i would say copious but you'll find a number of gems green gems will help you to revive yourself if you croak like that there is a, a system where the first time it's one gem the second time it's two and then it ramps up to like four and eight there's the extended zip line in the beginning, and now I'm running as Scarlet. It's similar, it's same. There are four different players you can run as, loads of boost you can upgrade, and you can see the environment changes over and over. The boost is very helpful. It's probably the best uh, power up, in my opinion, because I get it there, and then I have it green there, so when I come out of it, I can get it again. Nice, watch out for the flames unless you're in the boost and then keep on running. You can see your score on the top right and the coins you're collecting as well. I keep on going. The shield's not one of my favorite power-ups. There's a gem and you wanna get those because again, they're there. Here's the mine shaft. When you get in the mine shaft, just lean to the left or right to get the coins and guide your cart so that you don't run off the tracks. Sometimes the tracks are broken like that and you got to be cautious. You can come back from saves. I did it a couple times in this actual game. That's how I got my high score for a change. I finally made it over a million playing Temple Run. Don't everybody clap at once. That looks crazy. You can move in air too, by the way. I'm sure many of you figured that out, but it's also very key in this game because at the last second, you're going to be making some moves like so. Again, more mine car, more mine shaft, I should say, and off the cliff to death. You can see the objectives I complete as I get through a level. You'll get your overall score at the end, and that's the way you play Temple Run 2. Very fun, great game. Highly suggest it. Best app for free right now. Until next time, see ya.